All right, I'll try to stay away from the uh, the tripod, my drunk tripod. Okay, so I am getting ready for uh, January 1915, and I wanted to start looking at um, how I could make life as uh, easy as possible for the Russians right now, and also later on when I take a look at the Germans, because they've got so much territory. And I was wanting to find out about uh, constructing rail, not just uh, repairing rail. And it is quite different. It's a lot more expensive. Uh, and just to let you know, I'm going to be using my notes, not the actual, I'm not quoting the actual um, uh, book. But if you want to, you can just go to, uh, um, maybe I'll pop it in the, in the, in the uh, description. Just go to the uh, Decision Games website and you can go to the e-rules thing uh, under SBW and download the Grand Campaign rules and, and read them yourself. It's under section 29. And so I'm just going to give a couple examples out. I wanted to just clue in now. I'm starting to go. I, this is also in part with uh, something I can't really talk about, which I would love to talk about. But it involves uh, three people that watch these videos on occasion uh, and they represent three of the nations in my narrative play so and if I explain what I wanted to do with rail right now they would be they would yeah I can't do that so which it's just unfor unfortunate because I'd love to talk to somebody about it but I can't anyways so here we go all I can tell you is that construction to make a, uh, to, to make a rail uh, line to go through a hex side cost six times longer than its movement point cost. So for example, to go through these woods, that's two movement points, so that would cost um, 12, it would, uh, so it would take uh, 12 turns to get, uh, to make just this one hex. Uh, and it would be a single track. Also, not every nation can um, construct rail, only Hold on here. There's, I know it's a, there's a couple of things here. I gotta make sure that I get it back here. Only the continental major powers can construct double track rail lines. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So everybody can construct rail on uh, in your uh, on the European maps, but they can only be single track. However, and this is the beautiful thing. When I started reading up uh, later on, that I am. Certain nations can convert their single tracks into double track, which would be fantastic. Because uh, I mean, I start looking, and I'm like, okay, wait a minute, this is awesome. But like I said, it's six times uh, the movement cost in terms of turn to complete it, and it also requires per hex five supply points, and that has to be supplied by a headquarter that's uh, within four movement point of the engineering unit and that engineering unit cannot be re, uh, switched around uh, can't ever leave that hex it's kind of like entrenching if it ever leaves all out those turns so if you get, had to be leave after 11 turns um, you not only um, does that side lose their five supply points which is expended at the very beginning um, it also loses all that construction time and you have to start all over again this is the way it goes so single tr and to convert single track into double track is the exact same thing uh, in terms of six times your movement point value in terms of a time it takes to uh, complete and also requires five movement uh, five supply points per hex. All right, and um, to construct um, uh, a new rail line, I can't, for example, put in two engineering units side by side and make them go to uh, two at a time. But historically, I do know that the Ottomans were constructing uh, their ends together, so I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to take a look and uh, take a look at that as well. Um, you're also not allowed to construct. Let's see here. I'm just going to flip through very quickly, but I want to show you how it's expensive it's going to be because this drives me nuts. Okay, uh, lots of times there's. Um, quite a bit of um, replacement units and Lord knows what, so I want to bring it across here. And this single track drives me up the flipping tree. But I'm going to show you how expensive it is and how long it's going to take me to do. It's nuts. Um, doodle -doodle 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 -doodle. Let's see here. Yep, I said that. So rail lines cannot uh, can only be extended one hex at a time by construction. 
They might, uh, yeah, I told you about the engineering units must remain in place. Um, cannot be done through alpine, mountain, uh, wooded rough, a major, um, uh, yeah, new rail lines cannot be constructed crossing the following terrain. Major rivers, alpine, mountain, wooded rough, and swamp. Um, newly constructed rail lines are single track and only France, Russia, Austria, Hungary, and Germany are allowed to construct, uh, uh, to construct double track rail lines from single track. Um, and only Germans can do two hex sides at a time uh, and everybody else, the Austro-Hungarians, French and Russians can only do one at a time. But after, I'm still going to think about this for a while, is that I do know that when the Canadians were brought over, they were brought over specifically, well, one of the specifics, well, obviously uh, three, how about that, um, to, to fight, uh, two, to help uh, chop wood, uh, the Forestry Corps, and three, to construct rail um, massively. They were fantastic at it. Um, so I'm curious, because Great Britain is not allowed to convert single track to double track, is it because it's not their it's not their rail structure but then they're allowed to construct rail if Great Britain's allowed to construct rail to single track as far as I'm concerned they should be allowed to construct their own single track to double rail because they'd be using the Canadians to do the supersonics that makes sense to me alright let's take a look here let's see if I wanted to go across now remember it's got to be hex side here not just hex so this bit here is going to cost me one already. So that's one movement point. Yes? Two, three. Huh? Okay, let's just... One. Two, three. Four. I think it's six. I always have to remember, it's just like I can't say, okay, I started here because this little bit is single track is what I'm trying to say here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I hope you, I hope you believe me or, or agree with me. So that's six movement points times six is 36 turns. There's seven turns in a month. So that's five months and a bit and five supply points each hex so, so that's one two three four five correct did I do that right so that's five ten fifteen twenty twenty-five which still no I'd have to say wouldn't that be thirty anyway so you guys uh, help me out there because I'm not this like I said I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed not by a long shot but uh, that's what uh, one of the things I've been going over um, Oh God, this is a sandbox game and a half. If you just let it, isn't it? Eh? Well, at least for me. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little tiny bit more. But um, yep. So that would cost take over five months and a ridiculous amount of supply just to go from just to do that to that. Oh my God, I would love to have it, but I mean that's like you know fantasy land. Okay, hope you're having a great time. See ya.